what point do you also you mentioned just mm. uh so at what point do you add to your family <laughs> with just uh and then yeah. i'll ask you the next question okay yeah so <laughs> You know, there's this thing, I mean, I think they talk about in the workplace. Do you have a work, uh, what is it called? Work family balance? What do they call it? Work family balance. Yeah. Yeah. Work life balance. Work life balance. Yes. But you know, I'm more of a disciple of a guy that I really admired in the Navigators. His mm-hmm. name was Mike Trinia. Was a bit. Mike who? Uh, Mike Trinia. Ma- Mike, Mike Trinia. Trinia. Yes. Mm-hmm. He was really. He is really by far the most. Uh, inspiring speaker that I've ever listened to mm. in terms of preaching. Mm. It was just amazing. Mm. Mike was just a cool guy. Mm. And uh, but I remember him talking about that sort of uh, idea mm-hmm. because there's always attention, mm. you know. Uh, and you know, unfortunately, they are not very. You find a lot of people when they're successful, mm. if their kids and their family struggle in terms of their feet. Mm. But he shared a model that I think was for me. Mm. Uh, has influenced how I approach family and work. Mm. So of course I married Josephine, mm. the coolest, the coolest uh, woman in the world, mm. extremely pretty, mm. but also very intelligent. Mm. And uh, you know she's a teacher, mm-hmm. she's a music teacher. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, actually before we got married, when I was praying for a wife, mm. I was praying that I would, I would uh, marry somebody with musical, musical skills. Oh wow, and you've got exactly <laughs> yeah. what you prayed for. Yeah, mm. she's a music teacher, mm. uh, she teaches now at a French school. But how we, you know, we met through a friend. Mm-hmm. I was looking after kids of my friend mm-hmm. called uh, Stanley McCauley. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, 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 I used to take them, you know, to village market mm. and so forth. Mm. So this time I was village market mm. and uh, Joe was there with her friends. Mm. And uh, so, when the kids were swimming, I noticed this. I, Joe was introduced to me mm-hmm. by a friend. Mm-hmm. And we got chatting and so forth. Mm-hmm. That's really how we met. Mm-hmm. And uh, so then we dated and uh, we, we, we got married. Mm-hmm. But the dating was interesting because the, the, she used to play for Phoenix. I don't know if you know about yeah. Phoenix. Phoenix, yeah. the players. Yeah, Phoenix, but so mm-hmm. she, she was Phoenix. Yeah. Was the Phoenix. She was a lesbian as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she used to be the band. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was right. in the band. Uh-huh. And because I was working with the navigators, yeah. of course I could not afford the tickets for Phoenix. Well. <laughs> <laughs> those are pricey and <laughs> premium. <very> pricey. <laughs> yeah. So so she would invite me yeah. to go and I would sit with the band. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Now you can imagine, I mean you've got this. Uh, Beautiful orchestra. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got the prettiest woman in the whole place. Yes. And you are seated next to her. I mean, I just used to feel like I'm walking. Jordan like, dropping. I mean, you know, yeah. I would be the envy of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then she had this car that was a, a Nissan. Oh, okay. That uh, then would leave when you were leaving. Mm. Uh, it was a KRT. Mm. And every time we'd be leaving, it, most of the time we'd drizzle. Mm. And I don't know what is wrong with Nissan's mm-hmm. because the engine would die. Oh man, okay. Then we would park the car by the roadside. Yeah. And for me, that used to be my highlight because then you get to spend a lot more time. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we did it. Yeah. And, uh, and, um, yeah. So what was your question again? <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's actually good that you're speaking about how you, yeah. you did it, but yeah. also how then did you also come to expand your family? Yes. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, so uh, we, we date, we get married in 2001. Mm. Uh, after that, Brenda and I were very much involved in the development of I, I Choose Life. Mm. We used to joke, Josephine and Brent's wife used to be of their icy and widows <laughs> because Brenda and I were always together. Yeah. Uh, spending a lot of time mm. together and, of course, investing in ICL. Mm. But my what I came to conclude is uh, I should not try and create a dichotomy between work and, and family. Yeah. Uh, so instead of, you know, um, being involved in work, mm. I decided that let the family be part of the work. Mm. Let them be part of the work. Mm. So that, uh, Mike Trinia used to say, you know, mm. I've been called for the Great Commission mm. and I was called not just as Mike Trinia, God called the whole family. Mm. So if I'm going to pay the price, it's going to be the whole family, mm. not just Mike. Mm. 
And so I think it's important that uh, my children and my family are involved in I choose life and what we're doing. So like now we do, we just started another cohort of uh, training for the next crop of our ICL, uh, ICL training for next year for Nairobi County. Mm -hmm. We meet every Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, two to six. Mm -hmm. But you know who is leading that? Well, my wife is there and all my kids. Mm. Including the last boy who is four years old. They all do. In fact, John likes asking on Sunday, so are we going for core group? Oh, wow. <laughs> because he's looking forward for it. Mm. And everybody has a role to play. Mm. And, uh, and, and I think that's what. Mm. Uh, mm. So instead of them asking me, how's your day? Yeah. Well, they yeah. are part of the whole thing. Yeah. And I think uh, for me, that. Uh, because, you know, I, I think I was also reading somewhere where somebody was asking, oftentimes, mm -hmm. We invest, it has to do with all this. When you look at African businesses, mm. they fail a lot. Mm. When you look at Europe, 70% of all the businesses in Europe mm. are actually family businesses. Mm. In Africa, you hardly see mm. family businesses. Yeah. I think a major part of that is that uh, we pass on skills to the household, yeah. to the workers, yeah. but then we don't invest in our children. Yeah. And for me, I want to be different. Yeah, right. I, I right. want to have mm. the children be part of mm. that mm. enterprise development. It's part of the inheritance. Yeah, it's part of the inheritance. Mm. And actually, when you think about it, mm. it is the most important inheritance mm. you can pass on your family. Mm. It's not the bank accounts mm. and money, the bank mm. accounts. The skill, the knowledge, the, skill. the, the heart. The heart. Yeah. And you know, uh, when, so like as I said, we were doing poetry, mm. you know, our home, mm. we had a home in Kamundo. Mm. And uh, again, I decided to change the home as a model, mm. model farm, mm. because I want the home not to be the average African. The average African home is a graveyard, mm. so everybody gets to be buried. Mm. But I thought, no, I want to make. I, I want to make our home to be the place of enterprise, mm. the place of passing knowledge. Mm. So we've started the poetry, a, a model, poetry, poetry farm mm. where then kids from the surrounding schools where they are learning biology mm. they come and learn how do you transform yeah, biology mm. to business mm. and so just the other day we're like about uh, 60 kids from Kabundo high school mm. spend the whole day mm. and they are with their teachers and they're mm. trying to learn how do you move from just biology agriculture mm. to creating enterprise mm. but you know one of the things that i've noticed because when you go there i mean my whole family they, they have roads mm. but uh, john when john was three years old mm. when he was basically learning colors mm. counting mm. because always i mean you have to do stock tech for, for cheats mm. <laughs> and you've been involved with stock tech mm. <laughs> because then you've got all these chicks that you are you you block one side, you are picking them and you are mm. counting, dropping them the same. And he's part of that. Mm. So he's learning how to count, mm. he's learning colors. Yeah. You know, so it's really that mm. it, it ought to be that's how kids learn. Mm. Mm. And uh, my conclusion is that uh, as Africans, we need to ask ourselves, in fact, my family, what's the one skill that this family has? Yeah. And what is the one enterprise that we as a family yeah. Are yeah. yeah. And uh, and that is what, above everything else, we need to be passing on. Yeah, it's not enough to take your kids to school. Mm. I mean, of course they need to be in school. Mm. But how you grow enterprises and change economies mm. is really through having specific competences mm. to produce something, mm. whether it's chicken or yeah. whether it is a mango, mm. whatever it is. Mm. Let your kids learn to produce something, mm. and then also teach them how to commercialize it, yeah. so you turn that into a yeah. That's, that's, that's powerful and what you're mentioning also earlier about um, it not being about work-life balance but yes. about work-life integration, integration. Yes. Is, is, yeah. is very, very powerful. Yeah. Um, and in all of this, you also get to author, you also yes. get to write a book yeah. at some point. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> uh, tell yeah. us a little bit about that also. <laughs>